Humble Indie Bundle is still on sale for another week, and with over 200,000 bundles sold and more than $1 million already raised, you'd think they'd be sitting back reveling in their success and high-fiving. You'd be wrong. Keeping in step with past Humble Indie Bundles as of August 1st, the third bundle has added another indie title to its roster. Steelstorm Burning Retribution is a sweet top-down shooter that acknowledges an arcade influence and builds upon an original solid design. You're driving around in this crazy little hover tank that looks quite a bit like the Batman logo. Any additional plot points are lost on me, but that's okay because this game is a lot of fun. In each campaign, you have certain objectives to complete before moving into the next area. It might not be immediately apparent, but you do have a set number of lives. Dying too much will require you to restart the whole campaign, whereas initially respawning retains the damage you have already wrought. It's a well-balanced system of reward and punishment that doesn't make me feel cheated at any point, even after having to restart a level. This title is really long. There's at least 15 hours of gameplay in this easily, and with 25 campaign missions, you have a lot to replay if you so choose. Difficulty is well balanced in Steel Storm, with constant waves of enemies from all angles, but appropriately placed cover or space to maneuver in, so I really have no excuse for dying. Steel Storm plays smoothly, and it's very, very pretty. It's not as haphazard as some other more popular top-down, so spamming bullets won't always get you through the level, but it doesn't hurt. Environments are almost completely destructible, and since explosions are so pretty, I don't mind ruining my accuracy by blowing up every last thing I can. There's quite a lot in this game in the form of power-ups and secondary weapons, and you will definitely have a favorite loadout. The AI is the most notable thing in this title. It's incredibly well done. I can actually see the enemy ships looking for cover as their guns cool down and attempting to lead fire, which makes dodging attacks quite difficult, but also massively fun. You're working against enemies that actually appear to be thinking as they attack, and that makes blowing them up even more gratifying. You can hop into a multiplayer match and collectively take down more enemies than you could handle on your own, but joining a match in progress can be a little strange. Sometimes your teammates will be halfway through a campaign, forcing you to spend about two minutes playing catch-up. But if you do manage to catch up, working together to beat each level is massively entertaining. Steel Storm offers so much. The online capabilities are multifaceted and include not only co-op play, but deathmatch, capture the flag, and level editing in real time. Not to mention every multiplayer mode supports up to 16 players. The system requirements of this game are surprisingly low, and the developer caught in action Creative Artel boasts that this game can be played on a netbook. I'm gaming on a laptop with an Intel Core i5 CPU with 4 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of hard drive space, so I'm not surprised I experienced no hiccups while playing and almost zero load time between missions, but I'd be curious to hear how this actually performs on a netbook like a Triple E or an Aspire 1. Now this game is free to the people who have already purchased the third Humble Indie Bundle, so if you drop some dough on the bundle already, check that unique key page they've added Steel Storm. If you haven't purchased it yet, Steel Storm Burning Retribution is available for $5 on Steam, but as a part of the Humble Indie Bundle 3, you can pay whatever you'd like for this game and five others. I said it before and I'll say it again, this bundle is definitely worth it. Purchase it now to get a solid group of games. Steel Storm wasn't a thoughtless addition to the bundle, as it's a very well-made and gorgeous title.